Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Lionel. I'm your host for LT Productions. You are watching I Watch You Watch. We're covering Selling the OC, currently streaming their new season, season three, on Netflix. I'm a, I think this is episode three, entitled Offer Not Accepted. I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Uh, please like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below. Episode three is epic. <laughs> this is where the clip that became viral. <laughs> I'll try to play it. I might get a violation. I don't know yet, but please don't. Y'all got to see the madness. Y'all got to see the madness. But this was peak <laughs> of this episode and the talk of the town as to what went down. But let's get into it. All right, so Polly and Alex, they go to a, a listing. Uh, this house that they are at is on LaGlana Beach. Five bedrooms, seven baths, 4,388 square feet. Uh, the asking price is 12,000,000.200. Commission will be $366,000. All right, so we know that the buyer is a bachelor and wants a pool. Um, it's a really nice house. I, it doesn't seem that bachelory. I mean, with five bedrooms, what the crap are you going to be doing there? Unless you're going to be doing something there. I don't know, but hey, that's your business. And if you got 12 million, go on and do what you got to do. So, uh, Polly <laughs> has some questions to ask. Let's get into the business. What happened after that kiss that we saw in San Diego? Did y'all have sex or not? Nah? Alex is very coy at this moment, and she's going to be private about whatever happened. And whatever stays in San, whatever goes happens in San Diego stays in San Diego. Ugh, so do y'all think that they actually went all the way? <laughs> I think so, because of how things end up at the end of the season, which I'll have other thoughts by then, and I'll tell you what I really think about Alex and Tyler getting together. Um, but I think they did because ain't no way, Alex. After what you give us later on in the season? Nah. Nah. No, ma'am. Um, they talk about Sean. Um, Polly says that Sean is the start of the drama that happens in the office. Um, she knows about something that happened between Austin and Lisa. Lisa is Austin's wife. For whatever reason, um, Sean did back up from him. I get mixed reports. Austin says that he didn't want anything to do with him. Then Sean says he didn't want anything to do with Austin. What happened to on Sean's account, which we'll get into more of that a little bit later, is that they offered him weed cookies one time that he went over to their house or home and asked for a threesome. Polly ended up telling Austin she kept it to herself until someone else in, I guess, told him about what Sean had been saying in the office. Um, and then they're kind of confused. I think Alex was like, well, what? <laughs> Why is Sean still asking what happened between us, Austin? I think Tyler, after all that happened, like, why would you still want to pursue something with Austin, which I didn't know he was, but <laughs> I, I get so, mixed up because these folks don't tell the truth on this show because I get too many stories and I know who I more go lean towards because a lot of them do gaslight and don't really explain themselves that much um, it would seem crazy for Sean to still ask what's happening but nobody knows what happened between him and Tyler but we're going to get into it <laughs> so there's a lot of lines being blurred here as to what's really going on with people's sex lives experimenting and all that good stuff um uh polly believes that sean has burned too many bridges and after a while when you burn too many bridges you're gonna have to get out of town we learn later on in the season and i'll just let you know sean they, i don't understand this also everybody's so close to sean sean gets close to these people and then they, and then something happens and then they're no longer friends. Polly is one of them. Tyler is another one. Austin is another one. 
no one else. Right now, we know that he is the most uh, closest to Jarvis and the more newer people who don't really F with the other folk in the office. So, mm. all right. So, all right. So, Ali and Jarvis, they go to a, a listing off of Newport Beach or in Newport Beach. It's a three bedroom home, 3.5 bathrooms, 5,000 square feet. Price is to be determined. Um, Sean is there. Um, also, um, oh, is this Sean? No, this is Sean's potential house that he may sell. Um, we know that Sean's background is marketing, and he's basically doing what he can to um, get the buyer to want to list his house. Right now, they're trying to come up with a price because the property is huge and the amenities are immaculate. <laughs> Um, this guy, his name is Richard, was able to get a car that he used to drive, which was a 1974 a Periscope S, a Lamborghini, um, in his house. And how they got it in his house is uh, through the skylight. And they have it on the wall. Absolutely nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. But they, what comes on with the house is really, really, really immaculate. They also have a vineyard and a winery. So they're like, well, if you want the, I think he was given the property from the city or county or something to that nature. So, um, Sean, uh, Kayla also shows up and then Sean wants to talk or try to, talks about trying to clear the air with Tyler. Um, he's basically what he was trying to talk about. He also feels like Tyler is a gaslighter. Jarvis is team Sean and is backing him up at every turn um, they feel like also Geo in Austin they are weird um, they haven't even Sean says he hasn't even hung out with Austin for over a year but for some reason there's always these weird vibes in the office um, and Jarvis says you know that whole group over there they have a full time job of trying to manipulate and twist things that you have to say Multiple people have their own experiences with that team. That team compiles of Polly, Geo, Tyler, and Austin, and Alex sometimes. So <laughs> there are two teams in the office. Jarvis, Sean, Kayla, Allie, I think that's it, are kind of on their own team because they don't want to be full, be in the mix. Brandy, I think she's more compelled to go on uh, the Jarvis, Sean, Kayla, and Allie team only because she has experienced stuff with them also, as we see in some um, uh, flashbacks later in the season. So, um, I'm kind of explaining to you as I'm learning more of these folks because I have not really seen the other seasons. I'm gonna back up and see what happened um, during seasons one and two. Um, so we leave from there and we go to Polly's listing. Uh, Geo shows up, they're working in partnership. This house is in Newport Beach, uh, four bedrooms, five bath, 3.5, about oh, 3,580 square feet. The asking price is 8.260 uh, 8 million. And the commission will be $247,800. So Gio brings one of his buyers um, and the dude, he wants to pay cash. However, he's also picky. So you gotta really sell this house as to what he really wants. And really one thing that is on his mind, he wants to move in and do nothing. We find out later in some of the episodes he wants the furniture and all that good stuff. It's, it, how can I say this? Let's just say that there's less cash buyers than there are people that need to go through escrow and all that good stuff to, to get the purchase done. Um, they talk a little bit about Alex and Tyler. Gio says they definitely banged <laughs> in San Diego and I do agree in regards to that. Um, and then they talk about the potential of the relationship and Gio believes, or Polly, I forgot who said it, um, that Alex is going to eat him alive. I mean, she's assertive, she's straight up, and all this pussyfooting that Tyler wants to do, she's not gonna go for that. And I, probably he'll just straighten up, who knows? All right, so Austin and Lisa, his wife, Austin's wife, uh, they go out to dinner, it's their anniversary of when they first, when they had their first date. And then that's been 13 years. Um, they talk a little bit about some of the houses that he's trying to sell. 
because they want to go and buy and purchase their own home. Right now, things are tight money-wise. It looks like the most that they can do is buy the home, but the specific home needs renovations. They won't be able to do the renovations up front. More homes need to be sold. So I need to know if, if Lisa is um, a homemaker or stay-at-home mom. I would like to know that. Um, and I'll see what they say from seasons one and two concerning him. Um, all right, on the opposite, well, in another scene, I won't say opposite of town. Um, Ali, Kayla, and Sean, they go out. And basically, let's get to the gist of everything. Um, they understand, I guess, why Sean and Tyler have fell out. What happened between you and Austin? Um, Sean feels like both Austin and Lisa are flirty. And then they ask, can you elaborate? <laughs> so we go back over to Austin and Lisa. Lisa gives her experience as to what she thought when she went to San Diego um, and thought that some people in the group were being like piranhas. And Austin asked, you know, who? Who did you think? And they said, well, Sean. And then Lisa asked Austin, you know, so what happened between you and Sean? Now, I just... The way some of these people talk is like, but well, it's been over a year. Y'all don't know what happened. I'm not talking about Ali and uh, Kayla and maybe Jarvis is there. I don't know. Uh, I'm not talking about them because I mean they're new and they're not really friends, friends, friends with with Sean. I'm talking about Lisa. Why would you be asking that? You mean to tell me <laughs> after all this time, Austin has never said anything to you about Sean as to what possibly happened as far as them falling out? That don't make sense. But anyways, I needed the 411. But I did hear that Sean was more of a, a background character for however long he's been on the show. And season three was really his breakout moment, but I will see what happened, what has happened thus far. Um, uh, Austin says that he doesn't know if it's true, but he got from two sources that says that Sean is going around telling people that we drugged him and we wanted a three-way with him. And then Lisa laughs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, lady. Okay. <laughs> and then she says, oh, we would, I would never have a three-way with him. Never have a three-way with him. We're not doing that. I think how she said it is, uh, I would never have a three-way with him, but... or we're not doing three ways and I would never have a three way with him. Like there's no chance of that. Um, but Austin says, well, I think that the conversation went to, well, how come Sean hasn't said anything to you about this? Da, 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 da. And Austin said, he won't. <laughs> and I know that he won't say it to my face. I dare him. Well, I think challenge is going to be accepted later on in this review and in this episode. So we go back to Sean. He's telling his version of what happened. He uh, does feel like, they're flirty, as I said before, and I would never go there with a married couple. Um, Austin has been very interesting towards me in the part in the past. Um, he said that at one point when they didn't meet, that Lisa was touching his legs and was saying that you're my favorite person in the office. So <laughs> it's like Sean is this charmer. Everyone loves to get to know him, and then boom, something happens. And I don't think that that, it doesn't sound like Sean is the villain in, every, in, in all of this. And as I said before, I don't think that Sean is all innocent. I think that Sean has potential to be messy, but these folks are messy too and don't like to own their stuff. Let's get to the main event. <laughs> Let's get to the main event. <laughs> so, we're at the office. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, Gio and Polly. This is about the house that Gio bought the buyer over. Um, earlier on in the episode, they're at the point of negotiations. Um, basically, what was the cost of the house originally? Let me make sure I got it. Let me make sure I got it. It was 8.260 mil. Uh, Polly did go down for the buyer, um, and oh, I think they wanted to go down. Um, Geo saying that the buyer wants 7.7 uh, .7 million and 14 days escrow. Um, Polly says, no, 7.5. She ended up speaking to uh, the owner. Um, and that's the best and final. Uh, Gio calls Ian, the buyer, and he wants 7.925 plus the furniture. Um, 
Polly goes back to talk to him again, to the owner again, and the furniture is off the table, but the owner did agree to 7.925. Um, so, now Polly has her deal, in this, and she cries, and this is the biggest deal of her career. Um, Sean, uh, she has only had her license for two years, and I'm very excited. Congratulations, Polly. Now, for the main event. Um, what happened is, is Sean came into the office, mostly the, the other um, workers are there, the agents are there, and immediately, Austin gets up, or gets very hostile, saying, can we talk right now? I need to talk to you right now. And Sean's like, okay, what's up? <laughs> uh, let me set down my stuff. Like, if it felt so, like, okay, am I being ambushed about something? What's happening right now? Austin and Sean, they go outside, and they start talking. And obviously some rumors have been going around the office and he, he wants to know what's up. And Sean's like, I can't deal with this. I'm not doing this. And he walks off. And Austin said, sure, you're gonna walk off. Blah, 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 blah. So he gets pissed off, Sean walks off. Austin goes back into the office and, and doing his little macho man crap. Sean comes back in and said, okay, let's have this talk. Let's have this talk right now. <laughs> I'm gonna play this clip and I want you to see what's going on and you can judge for yourself. I know how I feel about the whole situation. So look at this clip. Tell me what the rumor was I made up. I'm not talking any shit about you and Lisa. Wait, I'm, not saying, I'm not doing this for the whole, you don't want the office to hear and this door is open. You don't want to close the door? How does this freaking door close? I'll do it. Okay, tell me word for word what I've said. You know, dude, just like, come out. Like, we were friends. Tell me. You know what's going on. Austin? I think nothing... You really want to go there? Go where? What are you talking about? Do you really about? want to go there? Do you yeah. really want to go there? You're telling me, look me in the eyes. Yeah. Austin, if you have the nerve right now to go there... Why no. are you making up no, 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 no. You told me when we were friends. You gave me all this little stuff that you and your wife are into. I don't care if you're doing these foursomes, flipping, doing all this kind of are stuff you with your friends. Are you fucking kidding me? No, hey, are, are you, you for fucking... real? No, because this is the truth. So okay? you did make this You up. have... <sighs> Those doors being closed aren't helping. I made a move, and because I'm not into it, you're mad that I'm not into I your permanent ways. I made a move on you? Do not even try what? it. You're disgusting. I was nothing. You are disgusting. You you're a pathological hits on you. liar. You're okay. not hot, bro. I've never Austin, fucking wanted to hit no. on you. You know what? It's, don't put the oh, script on me. You're the last person I've ever hit on. Don't put the script on me. What do you mean? You're not going to flip this you damn script on me. You got mad because Tyler When you and I hit on me, when I was at let's Hit on you? You literally looked at me, and you said, if I wasn't married, the things I would do. What? And I said, Austin, like, I'm not your friend. What the fuck? What? You guys are all in your little group. You're you have your own delusional ways. Have I ever touched have I ever you? Touched so you? what the fuck are you bringing up? You're making a proof that my subjects. wife and no. I want to fuck you. You right? literally told me that fuck you and your me, wife are experimenting and you're open to certain things open. and bringing a guy in. And I said, good for you. That's why I stopped are talking you to you, Austin. Kidding, bro. Don't are even you, try. Are you fucking uh -oh. Don't even uh -oh. try. You're really going to make this shit no, up? No, because you're bringing it to my attention. Don't even try, man. Are you going to make this shit up, bro? Okay, so <laughs> you see what happened with now. Who do you believe? I believe Sean. Sean is able to say verbatim this, 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 that. Oh my! And then Austin's like, "Oh my God, you actually said this!" And then he gets upset. <coughs> I'm a little confused, Austin. You came at Sean very hostile, and then. When he first gets into the office, he didn't even have time to sit down and stuff. Then you confront him, and then you get more mad because Sean says exactly what he says went down. And then you're like, oh my god, why are you on my guy? Got it. That doesn't make sense, dude. And then you're saying, oh, I would never, you're not even that hot. I would never even go for you, bro. That's more indication right there that you are sexually attracted to Sean. And that's one of the biggest lies that I can tell you. Sean, you are hot. You are fun. If I could say it in my black voice. <laughs> I'm saying it that way. That's how we say it in our culture. No, you are fine, dude. Yes. And you're very handsome. Let me be politically correct at this moment. Stop it. Stop it, Austin. So it got to the point, you saw in the clip, where they were backing up and about to fight. Tyler goes out there and he is trying to tell Sean to leave. What do you mean Sean needs to leave? Tyler, Austin was the one that was aggressive. Obviously, there's a pact and alliance in this office against Sean. And y'all gonna back each other no matter what. And I think that that is awful. 
So I'm like, Tyler, shut your tail up. Then he's like, well, well you're just gonna have to get his ass whooped. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Bruh, so they're still going at it, still arguing, da 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 da. Polly gets her tail up because she just believes all of this is BS coming from Sean. Because they can hear everything. They even try to close the doors as you saw on the scene. They heard all of that. She's like, this is just so ridiculous. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. It's like two or three times. Girl, bye. <laughs> You're not even a part of this. You weren't there, beloved. <laughs> you leaving or staying, it does not matter. Get up and go. We didn't need to, you didn't need to announce anything. Then some other people ended up leaving. Um, I think somebody, I think Sean ended up going, but whatever. But anyways, it's just so ridiculous. I believe Sean. I believe these dudes are either experimenting, but they are at least attracted to our boy. <laughs> so I don't care what they got to say. And I think that they did try to make some moves and it did not happen. And some people are bitter in regards to that. That's all I do have for this episode. Um, I, how they talk about Sean, to me, is suspect and they're weaponizing sexuality. I think I said this in a previous review. Um, and there's a lot of microaggressions towards sexuality. So I didn't think it was fair how they were doing Sean and that's just that on that. But y'all can tell me in the comments what you guys think as to what was going on however long, over a year ago, or what you felt during this, this uh, scene. But I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, peace.